This is a live Weather Channel special report on Winter Storm Juno. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Kim Cunningham. Good evening, everyone. Prepare and protect. That's our goal tonight because Winter Storm Juno looks to be a storm for the history books. Now, Juno could bring jaw-dropping snow totals in cities, big cities, including New York City, Providence, and Boston. For, for what I'm trying to say in Boston is really by sunset tonight, people, people need to be off the roads. That's the biggest thing. We may even... A series of powerful winter storms is about to hit New England. Meanwhile, in Sturbridge, Massachusetts, these ice racers are battling each other for points, sponsors, and a chance at the pros. And with over six feet of snow on the way, they're going to find it harder than they think to keep the track clear and their bikes on the ice. The other nine months of the year, these riders climb the sides of mountains at over 60 miles an hour dodging grapefruit-sized rocks. And oh yeah, these riders, they're girls. Race day brings riders and bikes of all types and sizes to the track. Amateurs and pros compete for the title of Ice King or Ice Queen. But the last few years, most folks have been turning out to see one race, the women's class. 14-year-old Nicole O'Donnell takes on hill climb veteran Sam Welch and Alicia Turcott, trying to prove she belongs in the big leagues. However, the unparalleled onslaught of snow and disaster on the ice might cause Nicole's season to slide out from under her while it's just getting started. Snowmageddon is on its way. An unprecedented series of winter storms is about to hit New England. And these riders only have a few races to attract sponsors to help them through the hill climb season. Not only is racing dangerous, it's expensive. More sponsors can mean more wins, but for most, it's a labor of love. Sponsors are really important because last year, just in the hill climb season, between buying my brand new 85, my KTM 85, and setting it up for the ice and the hill climbs and just the dirt and everything. It was an easy $20,000 traveling with the hill climb season. With very little sponsors, you're just broke. And you just, it's, it's rough, it's really tough, and just you gotta make do with what you can do. 
Um, I'm, I'm always looking for sponsors. It's just they, they always are looking for people who like ride every day. It's hard for me to go out and ride every day in the winter. But um, yeah, I'm like always looking for sponsorships. I'm sponsored by my dad and uh, my mom. When you're looking for sponsors, they're always looking for people who um, win races constantly, are consistent, always going out and riding and showing that they're interested in, in the sport. Last year, Last year it was the race of the day. Everybody admitted Everybody it. waited for that. Uh, Alicia was running a 150 and Nicole was running an 85. We were back now, and forth year, the They're both on 250s, but we threw Sam Welch into the mix and Sam is running hard. So. She's running hard and it's this will be her third or fourth time out on the ice and I'll give her credit. She's doing so well. Yeah, all year. We're really like the race is so close. Like it's we're literally right on each other's butts like the whole time, like tire to tire. Gets really intense by the end of the race. You gotta love Sam. Like I've looked up to her for a few years along with Molly Carbon. So we're all starting to get really competitive and well against each other, knowing what we're doing. One thing you got to remember is Nicole's 14 years old. Other than Sam, everybody's more than 10 years older than Nicole. She's 14 years old competing against these women that have been racing for years and have a lot of talent. Along with talent, it takes experience to avoid disaster on the ice. And even for the most seasoned rider, your next run could be your last. And the time has come for Nicole O'Donnell to find out if she has what it takes.
You okay? Yeah. Sounds yeah. right here. Nicole's down, but she's not out. However, her place in the restart is in dispute. She shouldn't be in the third. She went down. Absolutely. You're going to put her in that same spot. Right, that's the way we do it old school. It's either a lap or you start backwards. What's it going to be? Make sure you stay away from that snowbank. Check with the uh, race official, his Mary. What are you gonna say? When you go down, uh, I, mean, I mean, or give him more laps. She didn't have a uh, chance to get. She was clearly in the. All right, line. listen. In all give my years, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rep this. All right. But, but give him more laps, and they should have uh, clear, more laps. Clearly, if uh, usually if you crash and everybody else goes around, yeah. you're lap down. That's how oh, I score it. You go back to the lap, previous lap, but you put the rider that crashed at the end of the... That's right. The, the, uh, that's, right. 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 that's Mary. Okay, hold on. We're going to get you up. You come here. Right. Come here. Come back here, son. Class. Come on. Fuck off. Oh, he said, uh, I think it was F off. I don't know if he'll be back. I don't know if we'll let him back. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how the rules are here. Everybody has their opinion, but uh, that's how they're going to score it. Mary says, I've been doing this for years. I ain't taking no crap from nobody. Anybody else got anything? How are you going to score it? I'm going to give you the results right now. What do, what do you say, man? What do I say? What's it going to be? No, th it, this is it. It's, What's uh, the official? Uh, let me see. Alicia's first. Alicia's Nicole's first. Second, Nicole's Samantha's second. Swarms with the family into the Atlanta metro area. So we're going to watch this thing come through the trough. Okay, this is the trough. It's going to come through the trough. It's actually going to deepen. It's going to keep digging south and east. It's actually going to turn the trough to more negatively tilted. And that means trouble. That means we're really going to see this thing intensify. An epic blizzard is just one day from paralyzing the northeast. Meanwhile, there's a perfect storm named O'Donnell, Welch, and Turcotte raging on the ice in Sturbridge, Mass. Nicole O'Donnell is looking to redeem herself after disaster on the ice in week number one. And Alicia Turcott is all smiles after grabbing the win in that race, but not without a little controversy. She shouldn't be in the third, she went down. But they're both gonna have to find a way to stay ahead of Molly and Sam, and that's not gonna be easy. The powers that be are worried about two things that could bring everything to a grinding halt. The condition of the ice and the impending weather. Well, the weather plays a huge part in ice racing. It depends on whether we have enough cold to get ice. The weather also, the temperature depends on whether the, uh, the ice is soft or hard. 
Uh, today's a beautiful day. The problem with the sun being out, the ice might soften up. It'll start to turn away and the bikes will get hooked in ruts. More than a few riders will find themselves in a rut as more than five inches of snow have fallen overnight, softening the ice. It's just a few minutes to race time. The last minute preparations are being taken care of. A rider can only worry about two things on the ice, the other riders and the ruts. We're worried about the two feet that's coming on Monday. <laughs> Hope we'll race next week. Again, Nicole is down. Borrowed broken lever and we're ready to go. Got a little mishap with the Nicole O'Donnell. I'm sure that uh, Billy Rowe racing is going to have a motorcycle straight now. I think she'll be ready to go. She was super fast on her earlier. Unfortunate uh, first round accident. Nicole's crash in week one may have cost Sam Welch the race and the 2014 Hill Climb champion, a newcomer to the ice, is more than ready to show what she can do. Carbon until it was her turn to catch a tire. A pro hill climber and an arena cross racer, Molly knows her way around the track. But the karmic wheel is turning today for Sam Welch.
Well, after the end of women's race two, Molly Carmen made a strong showing, but it was New England Hill Climb women's champion, Samantha Welch, who showed everyone she's got what it takes. And this is Nicole O'Donnell's last chance to show she belongs with the big boys and girls. got hit by winter storm Juno here in Massachusetts and uh, we got dumped on about 20 inches here. Got a lot of snow on the track and we're gonna try to figure out how to get it off there safely. There's only 10 inches of ice underneath this snow so uh, it's limited of what vehicles we really can use to go out there. We're thinking of uh, using snow blowers and some quads to clear the ice out there. So we have to try to get the ice off the, I mean, the snow off the ice as fast as we can, um, just because it will affect the uh, surface of the ice and it insulates the ice. There's so much snow on the outside bankings. The bankings sit there, and the taller they are, and they'll absorb light, and they'll actually create heat underneath the bankings, and that'll start melting the ice. The thick snowpack insulates the ice, and if not removed quickly, this season is over. It's going to take more than two quads to get this job done. And Oki's got just the thing. Got ice? Yes, we do. Well, the ice on the track is clear, but it seems that Nicole has a little ice to clear herself with some of the other riders. Some of the comments were, um, what I've learned from ice racing is you have to have patience. Sometimes you have to wait a lap or two to feel out the person in front of you to make a clean pass. You can't win if you're crashing. My mom always tells me to think and ride smart. She's 100% right. Last year I wasn't doing too well on the ice and then all the hill climbers noticed that ice racing seems pretty cool after I started getting into it. 
And now I'm starting to win races all the time here and there. Now I'm getting busted by everybody, all the hill climbers. There's all this controversy going on about me winning a couple classes, me saying that I'm crashing into anybody, er, crashing into everybody, saying I hit her, I hit him, this and that. But they all have a big problem because I'm winning a couple races here and there. Where she hit me? It's just, <laughs> it's all bull crap and just, you know, we're all racing for a plaque. It's not like you're racing for money. And just, it's, it's just a mess. And it's not that Nicole doesn't know that racing is dangerous. This past July, Nicole's mentor and hero, Mickey Young, was severely injured on the hill. And a month later, 16-year-old Colin Krenzel was taken too soon. Colin still rides as Sam guides his beloved number 170 down the track. And although hill climbing is a sport, it is no game. In either type of racing we do, which is hill climbs, number one is a very dangerous sport. Uh, when you're going up a hill, that bike will flip. If it lands on you, you can break bones, it could even kill you. Uh, the pros actually in the last couple of years have been losing one competitor a year. Uh, Devil's Staircase is a very fast hill where they break the top at over 100 miles an hour and there's actually somebody been killed each year for the last two years. Uh, that's, that, it's a very dangerous sport. And in the end, it might not be the snow that ends this season. A 14-year-old riding a quad has gone down. And the long arm of the law has a few questions, answers to which Oki might not have. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen now, so it might be the last race here. No matter what happens, Nicole's heart is in the right place. You never know what's around the bend. Sometimes it's a good thing just to sit back and let life point you in the right direction. Can you feel the summer sun in February's starry night? If you can do no wrong, how do you know when it's right? Tell me the difference between bound and free. What is your job? What do you do? She's a master of her craft. To the kids, she is a slave. But poets and playwrights I live forever in their graves. She sees a world in a grain of sand, heaven in a wildflower, bolts infinity in the palm of her hand, and eternity in an hour on the road to hell. My good intention, not worth a single ounce of prevention. But it's a balloon, it's a reflection. Misdirection. I am not my flesh and my bones. I can't stay here, but I can't go home. I am the bird, I am the stone. I am not my flesh and my bones. I am not, I am not, I am not. King in his castle moves his knights and his pawns. He paints their colors red all over a well-kept lawn But his castles and prisons will one day fall in the sea Gold and silver chains still look like chains to me On the road to hell, my good intentions I am not my flesh and my bones I can't stay here, but I can't go
Just breathe. 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 Just his heart was bigger than his mountain, solid as a rock. It was poetry and amber, and truth within the white. And he said, boy, I'm here for a good time, not a long time by and by. valuable lesson today. Life is precious. It's not what you're fighting about, it's what you're fighting for. These folks are all fighting for the same thing, for the freedom to live the way they want, and to do it together. Will they finish out the season? Or will Mother Nature cut it short? Will the long arm of the law trump even the laws of nature? Don't change that dial. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but a fire is so delightful. Since we know no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping. And a broad song called for Papa. 
The lights are turned down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow When we finally kiss goodnight How I hate to go out of the storm But if you really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm The fire is slowly dying